Lease options, do they work? In my previous vlogs, I've not talked about this strategy very much, but in fact, it is one I've used quite a lot. This little three bedroom house that we're in now, it's cost me a pound to get into it and it's made me in excess of 70,000 pounds during the time that we've had it. Make sure you watch this video all the way to the end where I'll share with you exactly how I did that so you could do the same too. If you're here for the first time, welcome. My name is Saj Hussain and I've been investing in property for about 15 years now using various different strategies and on this channel I share my knowledge and experience with you to ultimately help you get further faster in your property investing journey. So if you'd like more videos like this, make sure you hit that like button and there's also the subscribe button so you get regular content just like this. Lease options and other similar strategies like an exchange with a delayed completion are not really talked about very much these days. However, it's a very powerful strategy. And the main reason they're not talked about much these days is because the current market doesn't really suit that type of strategy. However, 2021, it is all going to change. You need to master and really understand how you can utilize these strategies. A lease option, or sometimes called a PLO or a purchase lease option, what it allows you to do is take control of a property but not necessarily have the ownership. But the benefit to you is that you can make money from that property during the time that you control that particular asset. When you break down the strategy into its individual components and work out what it is, it's actually quite simple. So what you would have is a lease which is no different from any other lease you would have on a property where you have it for a period of time. And then you have an option, which is effectively a right to buy, which means you have the right to be able to purchase that particular property. However, you're not obligated and not committed to purchase the property. That's also the key difference between this and the exchange with delayed completion, where effectively you are committing to that particular strategy. In this particular video, I'm gonna focus on lease options. However, if you're interested in exchange with delayed completion, make sure you put it in the comment section below. And if there's enough interest, I'll do a separate video specifically around exchange with delayed completions. So there are two key ways to make money from this particular strategy. One is during the time that you control that property, or you have the lease on that property. For example, you might let it out to somebody else and you collect a rental income. And the other way is when you exit out of the deal altogether. And when you exit, or you sell the property or you sell the right to be able to acquire that property to somebody else and you take a fee at that point. So they're the two key methods. There is a third one. It's a little secret that I'll tell you about towards the end. Let's talk about how I've made this particular house work. Today we're just south of Birmingham in this little three bedroom terrace and we're in the attic room right now. And I first came across this house about 10 years ago. Now if you think about where we were then, 10 years ago we were still in a recession, it was still property was very slow selling, selling property was quite a challenge. Now at that moment in time I was doing a lot of marketing, direct to vendor, where someone looking to sell a house would contact me. Maybe you've seen leaflets like need to sell your house fast for cash that type of marketing I was doing quite heavily at that time. And the owner of this property contacted me, I came to have a look. It was already on the market for about 80,000 pounds. Now it'd been on the market for a little while, but they're not able to sell it. So what was I gonna do that's gonna be any different? Well, I could offer them a lot less than the 80,000, which is actively what we were looking for at that moment in time, essentially BMV property, below market value property, either to purchase or to sell to somebody else for a fee. However, in this particular circumstances, the debt 
that was on the property was also £80,000, the mortgage and there was some other debt as well. In total, the seller needed the £80,000 just to be able to walk away. The property was empty, they already moved out, they went through a messy divorce, there was a lot of pain and emotion around this particular property and she didn't want to be here. So the arrears were now also starting to build up, but she couldn't afford to maintain the mortgage, even though it was actually a small payment. During the last recession and when the property market crashed at that time, it was not uncommon to be coming across vendors who were in a similar circumstances where by selling the property they would either have nothing that they were going to put in their pocket because it would just clear their debts or worse still there might be negative equity which means even after selling the property it wouldn't clear all the debts and they would have to put their hand in their pocket to try and pay the balance just to be able to sell the property and walk away from it and many people were not in the position to do that. So this is what makes lease options work really well in that particular market because the sellers are looking to walk away from the property and the pain of maintaining mortgage payments as opposed to selling a property to put some money in their pocket. Now, when you roll the clock back, say five years, and I see people trying to lease option, they're struggling to make them work. And the reality why they haven't been working more recently is because the market's quite strong, it's buoyant, there's plenty of demand. When I first came to look at this property 10 years ago, there were very few people looking to buy. So there were much more sellers than there were buyers. In the market at the moment, there's many more buyers than there is sellers, so lease options don't work as well. However, we are now at the start of another recession and come 2021 i believe there'll be a huge amount more of these particular deals that will start reappearing you might be thinking right now hey sad that's all well and good i understand what you're saying but how did you manage to get control of this particular house for just a pound and still make 70 odd thousand pounds from it The absolute key in making these type of deals a success is taking the time to understand the seller, their circumstances and also their needs. This is probably the biggest mistake that I made when I first started doing these type of deals. I was stumbling across them all the time but I was focusing on the wrong things. I was focused on the numbers and how I was going to make money and all the different ways you could possibly structure the deal where really what we need to do is understand the seller. So this particular seller, they purchased the property a few years earlier, so when I first came to see them, at roughly the same price, at £80,000. So when I was having a conversation with them 10 years ago and they were trying to sell it at 80000 remember what they were trying to do is just get away from the, this particular house, get away from the pain, get away from the debt that was starting to build. That was what was really important for them. So it's structuring a deal in a way that's going to be able to give them that and allow them to walk away. And the way that we did that in that, this particular house was we agreed to take the property on for a, a period of time where we would service all the debt, we'd look after the mortgage, any other payments, there were another payment, uh, some debt that also needed to be paid each month, about £30. We would service that as well, the additional £30. And what that meant was that they could walk away knowing that actually they don't have any other financial commitments to be made to this property each month. And it also, we agreed that we would purchase the property for the full amount of £80,000 at some point in the future. So when I talk about a period of time, the time frame we agreed is 10 years. But to make it legal, there needs to be some financial consideration. And that financial consideration was £1. That's what it costs to get into the deal just to acquire and control the house. Not acquire really, acquire is probably the wrong word, to control the property for a period of 10 years. Now there were some arrears that were building up on this property so we started paying them down. And if you're thinking, so how did I make money from this? Well, our mortgage payment at the time, including the additional £30 we needed to pay, was about £150 a month. So it was a debt of a, a servicing of £150 a month. The market rent for this house is between £500 and £550. So there's clearly a profit there straight away. Just by sitting on it and doing nothing at all, there's about £400 a month profit. 
So as I said, we've had this house for nine-ish, nine and a half years now. And during that time, there's probably only been a short period where it's been vacant, where it's been, essentially it's been tenanted all that time. There's been changeover. There's been a little bit of work that we've done on the property and improved the property. But if you just work those numbers out, £4,000 uh, approximately a year profit over nine years, that's £36,000 that we've made just by sitting on the property. So yes, we spent a little bit on that, on improving it, keeping it tidy, and making sure that it's, uh, it's safe and compliant and rentable. So renting the property out during the time we've had it has been one of the key ways that we've made money from this particular property. The other thing that's also happened, you may have noticed, is interest rates have dropped. So in fact, currently our mortgage on this property, the monthly payments are less than £70 a month. Yes, you heard that right, 7 zero. Our payments on this particular property means they're lower, so our profit has been much higher. Now the second way that we've also made money on these properties in fact, we've just sold it. We've sold it for 119,000, which means once we've paid off all the debt that's on it, about 80 odd thousand pounds, we've paid the solicitors and the estate agents, we're gonna be left with about 37,000 pounds profit. So when you put those two numbers together, this house has made us pull apart more than 70,000 pounds. And what did I put to get into it? One pound. These deals are gonna be everywhere. You just have to understand how to structure them and how to find them. So I've shared with you two ways that I've made a significant amount of money from this particular property. However, I mentioned earlier on there were actually three ways that you can make money utilizing these strategies. Let's talk about the third one on the way back to the office. So we've talked about the two ways to make money from these deals, but what's the third mysterious way? Well, the third way is a money that can be made at the front end of this deal. We talked about the middle of the deal, the middle of the deal being the rental profit, the back end of the deal being when you exit out of it, but the front end is when you can charge a fee to set these deals up for other people. Sometimes people call these tenant buyers, but there's other ways to structure them as well. So you could charge a fee to somebody else to come into this type of deal, i.e. selling it onto them, selling this opportunity. But you tell me if there were 70,000 pounds profit to be made, like from this deal we've just came from, what would be a reasonable fee to charge somebody? 2,000, 3,000, 7,000 pounds? You know, there's different levels of amounts that you can make from just setting up this kind of deal. We've just arrived back at the office now. If you've liked the content you see so far, make sure you hit that like button and let me know your thoughts on this particular strategy, lease options. If you wanna learn more about delayed completions and also sandwich options I was talking about earlier on, make sure you put it in the comment section. If enough people ask for it, I'll make sure I do a video specifically for you on that topic. Hit that subscribe button as well and the notification bell so you're notified when I'm releasing these videos and I look forward to seeing you on the next vlog.